Hi, for this video, what I want to do is talk to you about similar triangles. Uh, similar triangles are two triangles with the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. All corresponding angles are going to be congruent to each other, and the corresponding side lengths are proportional. So that's the one that we're going to be looking at specifically today. Okay, so we have two triangles here. These are similar triangles, which means that this angle corresponds to this angle. These two angles correspond and then the third angles correspond. So those are always going to be equal to each other in similar triangles. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, the way that I personally like to set this up is that I figure out what side this corresponds to in the other triangle, and that's how I set up my proportions. So I say that X is to 12, because 12 is the one that it corresponds to, as 32 is to 64. Okay, so when you are doing this, you have a couple different ways of solving this problem. And like I said, you could set this up differently. I could say that X is to 32 as 12 is to 64. I would get the same answer. Okay, so one way that you can solve this is by cross multiplying. And then you would have 64x equals 12 times 32, which ends up being 384. And then I could divide both sides by 64. Okay, and I end up with x equals 6. And because the units are meters, I would say that x is 6 meters. Okay, so another way that you could solve this, especially if you don't want to do the multiplication of 12 times 32 and deal with a number that's this big. Like if you have a calculator, it's no big deal, but it does take a lot more time. What you could do an alternative approach is I could set this up the same way. And then I could say, I'm going to multiply both sides by 12. And the reason for that is the opposite of dividing by 12 is multiplying by 12. So if I multiply the left by 12, I also have to multiply this side by 12. And then I can just do some reducing. So I know that 32 over 64 reduces to 1 half. And then I really just have 12 divided by 2, which is also 6. So um, it's kind of a matter of what's easier for you, whether you want to just cross multiply and do it this way, or whether you want to use the fractions and just reduce what you can. Um, either way, you end up with the same answer. So a lot of times there's more than one way of arriving at the same answer. So you just pick the one that makes the most sense to you. All right, so these are also similar. And the reason is, is because these are parallel to each other. I know I didn't mark that in there, um, but those are parallel to each other. And so we end up with similar triangles because this angle would correspond to this angle. These two would correspond to each other. And then this angle is the same in both triangles. So we're talking about this little triangle here and then the big outside triangle. Okay, so 12 represents this entire side length over here. Okay, so I could set this up the same way I did on the last one, where I can see that x corresponds to the 12 as 5 corresponds to the 15. Okay, so again, you have the choice of whatever makes more sense to you. You can cross multiply, so I can say that 15x is equal to 60, and then I can divide both sides by 15, and I end up with x equals 4 feet. Or if it's easier for you at the beginning, instead of simplifying how we did, we could have multiplied both sides by 12. Okay, and again, you can reduce before you multiply. And so you can see that five becomes one over three. And then I really just end up with 12 divided by three, which is four. So either way, it's a matter of which one is easier for you to follow, um, but you will arrive at the same answer. So we can say that the missing side length is four feet. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.